What is going on guys? It is Rigor Mortis and we are back this morning with another video. I really want to quickly say thank you so much everybody for the continued support on the channel. We're almost at 100 subscribers which is absolutely insane. I'm really proud of the family that we're growing here. So if you're new around here, I'm going uh, to put you on real quick. I'm, I'm making these stock videos for you all and my perspective from a gamer to a gamer. And I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribed if you're new. If you like the video then I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions or anything you want to say, please drop it down in the comment section below. That's my absolute favorite part about making these YouTube videos is interacting with you guys in the comments below. So I'd really appreciate if you dropped a comment. Now, let's get into the video. Obviously, you guys see the market today is red, red, red. And I don't want anyone around here to panic whatsoever because what I want to tell you guys is these red days in the market and, you know, my, my, my portfolio is down too today. These red days in the market are extremely crucial and they're a part of the healthy price action that we want to see in these stocks. So what happens whenever we have a huge run up without any type of pullback or correction, at the end of that huge run up, we're going to have a crazy crash. That's what usually happens with these stocks because there's a huge sell off. We kind of saw it with Corsair, but sometimes it's even worse than that, where we have this huge run up and then this crazy, crazy, crazy market sell off where the stock absolutely just plummets without there being any news whatsoever. If you're invested in Workhorse, maybe you felt a little bit of that with the USPS contract that kind of had a little bit of news surrounding it because well lack of news I should say because it wasn't announced and they kept on pushing it off and so there was this you know ridiculously bad market sentiment that led to a crazy huge sell-off that actually pulled down Lordstown Motors with it as well because those stocks tend to move together but anyway we're not talking about those two in this video what I want to talk to you guys about today is some of the stocks that we've already talked about in this channel, how they've performed for the beginning of the week, and whether or not I'm worried, and whether or not you should be worried. And again, this isn't financial advice. I'm just here to put you guys on and tell you guys exactly what I'm thinking as the market opens today and maybe for the rest of the week. So the first one we're starting out with is one of the first stocks that I talked about on the channel, which is Tuscan Holdings or Tucson Holdings, however you pronounce that, ticker symbol THCB. As you see on the day already, we are down, but not, not a lot, just 5%, which quite honestly, I don't see this as a problem whatsoever. Okay, it's a little bit red on the day, but the whole market is red. And if anything, this is kind of a good sign because it's been holding somewhat steady since its highs at 13, 1339. It's gone down 10% or so. You know, I'm not really worried. It's it's holding steady and... I think, if anything, this is a even better opportunity to buy than we were at before. And again, this company, THCB, actually has a stockholder meeting this coming Thursday uh, where they're considering an extension because the deadline for this spec is actually December 7th and there's no way they're going to be able to merge with Microvest in that time. So we will see what happens on December 7th. I feel like if they do get the extension, this stock is absolutely going to take off and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm hoping that they do get the extension. I'm expecting that they will get the extension and that'll give them until April 30th of next year to get that merger deal to go through. So I'm very bullish on THCB, and I think this is still a great buying opportunity uh, as long as that extension does go through this coming Thursday. Next up, we'll talk about Nano Dimension. I talked about this stock... Uh, I spelled it wrong, of course, in the Google search. I talked about this stock just yesterday and how I was planning on buying in and I was just waiting for the right time and I ended up did I ended up buying in yesterday because I was just sick and tired of waiting for the price to go down. And I think this what we're seeing today is yes, a part of the broad market sell off that we're seeing and the market is red today, but also a little bit of that five dollar offering that I talked to you guys about yesterday. So this stock I think could you know it it's at a good buying point right now, but I would nibble a little bit if I were you guys. And again, not financial advice, but this is what I would do. I already bought in yesterday, so I'm good. But what I would do if I were trying to get in right now is I would buy in maybe a little bit right now, like maybe half what your total position you want it to be, and then wait and see whether or not this stock continues to fall. If it falls below $5, I truly believe that that's a really good buy zone. If it falls all the way to $5, I think that's when we need to load up on this stock, and that's whenever I'll probably be buying it even more. Next up on the list is GIK. This is another one that I talked about yesterday. Get Capital 3, which is another SPAC that's planning a merger. Um, this stock, again, it's it's been riding pretty steady. It's at around $12 this morning, uh, down a little bit, uh, about 5% like the rest of these stocks have been. Um, not something super substantial, down 9% on the day. But um, again, 
a really good buying opportunity. There's no news, no bad news has come out on any of these stocks in, in and maybe in nano dimensions, but uh, no seriously bad news has come out on any of these stocks. This is just a minor pullback, a minor correction in the market, very healthy price action. So I don't think you guys have anything to worry about there. Uh, st still a great buying opportunity. And then last but not least, the stock that I talked about recently, Corsair stock. And this is this is one that's actually been doing good the last couple of days. So today uh, we we uh, opened up at or just below $39 and we shot up to uh, $41.5 and then we did have a little bit of a pullback here at $39. What I like seeing about Corsair is that I feel like people are still taking profits on this stock, but at the same time, it's holding very, very steady at that 38 to 39 to 40 dollar mark, and I really like seeing that. So we're we're having somewhat of a, a good um, we ha we have very good support at these levels, and I think after a slight consolidation phase in this stock, we will see a really, really big market boom here coming in the Christmas month of December and New Year's as well. So we're coming up to the holiday season where people are going to really be going out there and buying a whole bunch of hardware for their PCs because the PC is the future, as, as many of you know. So I think this stock is going to do very, very well here in the next month or so. And they killed it on earnings. So I still think that this is a great buy at these levels. If you can catch it below $37, I think you really you need to consider starting position there. And if you can somehow catch this stock below $35, then I would say that you need to load up because that's what I'll be doing. But anyway, folks, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Don't panic. The market is red today, but that's just that's a buying opportunity for us all. So I really want you guys to consider starting a position in a lot of the companies that we talked about on this channel. Go out and do a little bit of research and try to investigate into stocks that you think are a good buying opportunity today because a lot of them are on sale. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like the video if you if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new and comment down below what stocks are you buying today because a lot of them are on sale and I'm interested about what you guys are interested in. Thanks. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.